be making basics. What's going on YouTube? Beat Making Bases back again with another dope video. If you're new to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe as well as give me a thumbs up because we're coming back to back with bangers. Now today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make pain chord progressions. Okay, when I say pain, some emotional type of chord progressions in Logic Pro 10, the super easy way. All right, so check this out. First things first, what you're going to want to do is start off with this software instrument track. And instead of going over here and scrolling all throughout these, just start with a default patch, all right? So the default patch is what we're going to do. And we're going to create right there. Once that comes up, you can either go with this classic deluxe uh, electric piano. We have a lot of different options here. But what I'm actually going to go ahead and do is look at my sound bank here. I have a library of sounds. comes with all of the different versions of Logic. But um, if you go ahead and click on piano, we have this grand piano that I feel like works pretty well. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and show you the musical typing, right? This is what we would do if we were to kind of try to come up with a chord progression. We have to come in here and draw each note. But a simpler way to make these chords is to actually come over here to the MIDI effects. And um, with what you could do is click on here and go to chord trigger, okay? And when you come to the chord trigger, you're gonna see this piano. So let me go ahead and actually close this stuff out so we can just focus just on this. So this is your um, chord trigger and basically it's gonna help you to play chords just by pressing one note on the keyboard at a time. So for instance, clicking here on C is gonna play that chord. Now, that sounds cool, but you might want to, to change the type of chord that we're playing. It looks like we're playing some, um, some seven chords. If you want to change the type of chord that it's going to play, you can just go over here to the top left where it says factory default and scroll down to single and you can go to triads and let's just say we want to go with minor. Okay, so minor is going to be a good chord progress, uh, type of chord you're going to play when it comes to like your sadder or most more emotional type music. Okay, and so if we come over here now, this is all uh, minor chords. We also have the black keys. And so what we want to do here when it comes to playing like some pain type of chords or whatever, we're going to come up with like a simple chord progression that you can follow here. Now, if you look at the key of C um, and number this between the octave, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and an eight within that octave right there. So if we're counting up the keyboard, uh, we could pretty much do different chord progressions based on these numbers here. So like I would do, let's say a one, four, five, one pro progression. And that's what it, this is what it would sound like. And what we could do is we can mix this up as well. I can play it like this. You know, and then like it, it, we can also mix it up with the higher pitch of one. So also something to keep in mind here, if you really are a technical person and you want to naturally know, hey, how is what kind of what are the notes of each of those chords? And this is a great way to learn. So you can say, all right, cool. Look down here at the bottom. You can see that the little white dots are actually on the actual notes that you need to play. So that's one way to do this here. Now, if we want to actually lay this down, um, we will come over here to our piano row. Just click on the editor. Get to go to your piano row and we're going to create a note. You know, so you should be able to just hold down command and that pencil is going to come up. 
Let's go ahead and click right here at the beginning. And if it doesn't already come, the note doesn't already go to the very end of the next measure or the beginning of the next measure, then what you want to do is go ahead and create that. Extend it out like that. Also, you want to come over here and extend this as well. Okay. And so what we can do here is we could just go ahead and just push, like after we highlight this, Command R several times. All right, and what this is gonna do is this gave us some notes and we can move these up or down. And I'm gonna show you a simple way to move it up or down. So if we highlight one of the notes, so this note, the second note needs to be four, right? If you hold down Option and then push the up or down arrows, you can move this up or down. Now let's say if you wanted to make this an octave lower, you can just go ahead and hold down shift and push option and then push the up or down arrow. So pretty much we can come over here. And move these around to fit our pattern. Now let's listen to our pain pattern. All right, my bad. Let's let's listen now. Now, you obviously could do some other things to this to make this sound different. I can come back over here to my uh, inspector window and we can add different effects to this. We can put like a little bit of reverb on here. If I want, turn this down and mix some. Put a little bit of decay. Yeah, stuff like that. You can come over here and add some more stuff to this as well. Come over, put like a flange or a chorus effect on it. All right, and it sounds decent alone, but when you start adding a beat to this, it's, you can really begin to see how this can work for like, you know, a pain beat or whatever. Let's see here. Let's add this clap to this now. Come over here, add this 808. And I'm actually gonna just play it with this uh, with this step um, musical typing option.
this to follow the 808s a little bit better. I can come over here. We look at this, uh, you use the playhead to judge where it should be. See how the playhead is matched up with the beginning of this 808 pattern right here. Then we can highlight everything, right click on it, force legato. Make this hi hat pattern right here. up to this man you know there's a little bit more we need to do to the beat to make it really fit into the vibe of that pain music but you kind of get the point of what i'm trying to show you here it basically is that we can come over here and create a chord progression using this chord trigger saves time you know especially if you're not like super musically inclined as far as like your music theory and everything like that you can come in here and you can look up different chord progressions online and actually just play them And they have other things you can come in here and do as well. So like I can come over here and do like a suspended. You can freestyle stuff too. It doesn't have to always just be pain stuff. You can just make it, make your own chord progression. Then it just turns into a whole nother beat. You know what I'm saying? That's how, how the life works as a producer. And then this ends up becoming a whole nother vibe, but Again, this is pretty much just a simple tutorial on how you can 
get things rolling like this. Um, but y'all, appreciate y'all for watching all the way to the end. Make sure that you go ahead and leave me a comment. Also, give me a thumbs up. I do appreciate those. I do respond to those comments. And also, make sure that you go ahead and check out my site, beatmakingbasics.com. Okay, we have full video courses you can grab off of there. My Logic Pro 10.5 course is going crazy. I mean, a lot of people are grabbing that. And it's a full course. I mean, it's going to break down the beat making process, the mixing process, how to make beats for artists, how to make beats for TV and film. It's a real full course. It comes also with a kit. You know, you know, you know what I'm saying? There's a lot of different cool goodies on there. You know, we have our loop packs on there. We have our one-on-one -on -one service, uh, basically, where you can do live Zoom calls with me. So... Make sure you go to my site, bemakingbases.com, grab a course, grab a, 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 a loop pack, you know, book a one-on-one -on -one with me, man. Can't wait to meet you. Can't wait to see you on the other side. And thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.